In this lesson, we're going to write our first regular expression to match IP addresses. And this is going to be IPv4, the old style IP address that we're going to be validating. Let's take a look at our file. So we have 255.255.255.255, which is valid. 1.2.3.4 is valid. Our regular expression will allow 0, .0, 0.0.0.0, although that is not actually a valid IP address. 127.0.0.1, which is the IP address for localhost, the local machine, is also a valid IP address. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is not. That would be if we put dots in it, but we don't have dots, so it's not a valid IP address. Now, let me warn you that this is not a perfect regular expression because, like I said, it would find 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. .0. But if we were using this regular expression just to pull out IP addresses out of a text of some type, a combination of words or sentences and numbers, then it would be a legitimate and useful regular expression. Now let's take a look at the C-sharp program that we're going to use for this example. It looks like our other C-sharp programs. We're going to open a file. The file is in our data subdirectory ip.txt, which is what we just looked at. Then we have a string variable to store each IP address. Then we simply loop through the file and match IP addresses against our pattern, our regular expression, and it will return the ones that match. So let's write the regular expression now. We've got the cursor in the right place. First thing we want to do is anchor on the beginning of the string, so we'll put a caret symbol. Then we want to set up a group, which will consist of the digits 0 through 9 in a set of 1 to 3. So in other words, 255 dot or 1 dot or 25 dot would all match that and those would be valid beginnings of a regular expression. Then we need the dot and because that's a meta character in a regular expression we have to escape it with the backslash so that C sharp treats that dot as a literal dot and not as the regular expression meta character dot. Then we want to allow up to three sets of these groups. So first we're going to close the group, then we'll put three in braces, indicating we can have three sets of up to three digits. The last set we will write out separately. So we just write bracket 0, 9, 1, 3 in braces, like so. And then we want to make sure we're anchored at the end of the string, so we put a dollar sign. And with that we should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and run the program and see if it matches against our IP addresses in the file. Let me pull that into view and you'll see that it does. It matched all of the IP addresses except the last one which wasn't actually an IP address anyway. So I'll close that so you can look at the regular expression again. Let me highlight it for you by moving it up on the screen. And So this regular expression can be used to find IP addresses in a text. Now again it's not the perfect regular expression, you might call it a simple solution, and then later on in the course we will develop a more accurate solution to validating IP addresses.